Hello and welcome to The Shed. Today we've had the pleasure of Dollhouse in The Shed and uh, here they are sitting in front of us. Uh, would you girls like to introduce yourselves? My name is Anna, I play the bass. I'm Alex, I play guitar. <laughs> I'm Jasmine, I sing and I play guitar. And I'm Sarah and I play the drums. On the influence front, who are your biggest influences? Number one for me, Fleetwood Mac, for sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's nice. We've all got different influences. Um, I like a lot of, you know, like Hendrix and Zeppelin, but love Haim as well and Fleetwood Mac. And yeah, I was going to say Haim. Definitely Haim's a big one for Yeah, they're like quite current as well, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like their influences are like old school as well. So mm -hmm. it's really, it's like the same kind of thing. Which, of course, being current is uh, very much what your sound is. You, you have a lot of genres involved. Tell me about that. Yeah, I, th I think that just comes from like all the different influences. Like we all listen to different things. We all want to draw from different things. I think we all like play different kind of music before we got together. So that means that we're able to kind of throw that all in one big pot and mix it up and make something a bit interesting, hopefully. Excellent. And uh, anyone looking at your YouTube footage and your, your Facebook page will see that there's a, a number of gigs you've played. Mm -hmm. For you, what's the most memorable to date? Either Spice of Life or Susie Quattro. Yeah. For different Susie reasons. Quattro. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell me about that. Yeah. Um, she had a screening for her new film um, at our local cinema. Yeah. Which was just like crazy because um, as the bass player, um, she. She is like my number one point of call because she's she's, quite um, a character, oh, she's she? amazing and she's so tiny as well and the bass is so big compared to her. It's like, oh, she's, she's like a pocket full of dynamite. Exactly, an actual plays. goddess. Kindred spirits. Exactly, <laughs> and um, yeah. So um, we emailed in, was like, we love her so much. Please let us play, <laughs> and they were like, yeah, come in, like, do your thing, and we did. It was amazing. It was really good. Super. Maybe there's a, a connection with Weatherspoon, does anybody want to elaborate on that? Here's her mischievous way. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, um, I would say like one of the first nights that we ever sort of like got together and really talked about being a part of the band, we went to Weatherspoon's and we went to Table 28 in Weatherspoon's and we sat and we probably drank a little bit too much but it was really what kind of like we were saw each other and were like yeah we can be friends and we can play music and it was just a nice Bonding experience. Yeah, Definitely. bonding experience. So, 2020, mm -hmm. 
what has Doll has got to offer? What have you got planned for 2020? What, what's... Well, we're hoping to release an EP in 2020. Um, hopefully it'll be earlier, first half of the year, mm -hmm. 2020. But um, Sarah did give away our EP name. Table 28. Table hey. 28, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I really look forward to hearing that. Um, many thanks, Dollhouse, for coming in to the shed today, and uh, I'll certainly be listening out for that EP. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much.